Welcome back. Now, you have a feel of who John is, and um, he can add his voice to that, um, of where, because we now know where Ruchiga Sako, you know, is today at the moment. Mm -hmm. But um, if I may, um, how did you, what, I mean, how did you come up with the idea of, 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 of forming a Sako? What informed that decision, uh, for starters? And paint for us a picture of how the beginning. Yeah, how it started. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. <coughs> Once again, I'm John Bosco Abajo, and with Uchiga Sako, I'm the general manager. So Uchiga Sako has an interesting story. It came up as a result of um, domestic violence. Oh. So it was started by a, a, a priest, Reverend Father Gaitan Vatanyanda, mm. and when I interacted with him, when I joined the institutional leadership, I wanted to understand what interested him to start this institution, because me, I joined in 2012. So he, him being a priest, he used to receive a lot of um, uh, complaints, particularly from women. You know, in Chigezi, we grew a lot of sorghum. And whenever they would harvest their sorghum, uh, particular ladies, <laughs> who get involved in agriculture most of the time, is that the men would beat them up, take away the, the sorghum, sell it, and use it to take our local brew, which is called entulid. Mm. So uh, because of that challenge, and they would grow this sorghum particularly, to sell it and pay school fees for children. Mm -hmm. So when they complained so much at the parish, at Chitanga Parish, where he's a current parish priest, he gave them an idea of selling after harvesting. They sell immediately. Then they form a box at the parish. Then each one comes, keeps the money. Then they write on the paper. When they want to go and pay school fees, they come and pick from the box. So this is basically how Rushiga Sako started. Mm. Then eventually, it was um, the idea was sold to the local leaders, and it started in 2003. Mm. <coughs> then the process of registration also took place. In 2004, it was formally registered. So basically, that's how Rushiga Sako came up. Okay. Yeah. I so hear you. Yeah. Maybe just to hold you, um, you know, uh, hold it right there. Mm. Charles, um, we see mm. quite a number of circles beginning today. Yeah. 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 And uh, of course, some are begun by professionals. Yes. And some of these professionals actually sit in, uh, you know, the area where you'd say the experts in financial related true. matters. Yeah. Including bankers. Very true. And yet, we're also seeing the mortality rate of these circles mm, mm, up mm, there, mm. including those formed by bankers. Very interesting. Where's the problem? Where's the missing link? And Maybe. that's why I love today's evening's discussion. You can see the history of its formation. Mm. People completely away from the field of financial solutions. Mm. But they just said, can't we start saving some money? Get away with getting these women to make sure that whatever they have gotten from selling sorghum is going to serve the purpose of paying the school fees. Mm. And then later they said, it is beginning to work. How can we bring everybody on board? Still in then you are, you are not seeing anything like uh, a deep business plan has been done or somebody is saying, you know what, you need to go and see a certain MP to make sure that this thing takes off. It originated and germinated from the community. Mm. That aspect of people saying, we are seeing this thing. It is helping us. We are going to be part of this baby. Mm. To me, that is a very key thread of the story. Mm. And want to listen and watch how something members totally raw in the area of financial solutions ended up with something that I suspect, as we shall be hearing, mm. is a great story. Very good indeed. Mm. Noah, what do you add to that? The beginnings. Always the beginnings. The foundation. Uh, thank you, uh, Charles. Yes, you know... Usually, innovations come when there is a crisis. That is usually the time when innovations and, and new beginnings and new things come up. Mm. So you find uh, that, okay, people are saying, uh, my salary is not enough. Mm. So as colleagues <coughs> at work, mm. if whether we are a bank or not a bank, <laughs> let's collect some money mm. and, and save it somewhere, not in our pockets, so that we can always go to eat when we need it the most. But there is a very big uh, assumption we make, and uh, uh, th that is the biggest challenge, I think, for, for, for MSMEs and other you know, businesses, which, again, we attribute to what we discussed last week mm. of reasons why 
what we start does not see its second birthday. Yeah. And this is the reason. So people, uh, we assume that because we are in need of money and we form the circle, it should exist because we formed it. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. Getting into a vehicle to go where you go does mm. not mean that the vehicle will take you there. It doesn't guarantee mm. That vehicle yeah. should have a driver who should be there on time. It should yeah. be nicely serviced. Mm. It should be licensed even to be on the road. Yes. Even the operators should have the required the driving permits and the rest. Now, In including soberness. The question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely. So yeah. the question yeah. I usually ask uh, mm. all of us who are ambitious to, to, to start is, uh, you know, these companies. Yes, we know why we are starting. Mm. Yes, we've looked for savings to start. Yes, we've paid for registration. Are we prepared for the journey? Do we have the right skills? Do mm. we have the right staff? Do we have the right processes? Do we have the right policies? Do we have the right linkages we mm. need? Mm. Let me give a quick example. So, we all don't have enough and that's why we are saving to start a circle. So that mm. we can always assist with each, uh, each other with savings mm. as loan. So how about when no one is able to save a few months later? Where shall we get money to even sustain such operations? Mm. Now, it comes back to our skills. Whether you could be knowledgeable as a, te as a teller, as a, teal, a teller in the bank. Mm -hmm. You could also be uh, knowledgeable as a loans officer in the bank. But do you know where the money you lend comes from? Mm. <laughs> what if you have no savings? Mm. Mm. It means, therefore, you need to have linkages to wholesale lenders where you can say, look, we have loans of up to uh, what, 10 billion or 1 million or 3 billion or 500 million, but our savings are 20 million. Mm -hmm. So we hear ABI offers lines of credit. Let's go there as a circle, borrow money, which then we can lend to people who come to borrow, even if we don't have members saving. That will enable you to live beyond the first birthday. <laughs> Thank back you. to the question mm. that, yeah, that yeah. we're asking. Charles. Thank you, Noah. Yeah. And I think we'll get back to that, the social yeah. financing and that kind of thing. Because Correct. Uh, yeah. me and Charles here, we've had very many people raising that question. Yes. Yes, you've given us good counsel on this and that. But where can son of man yeah. or daughter of man <laughs> raise the needed, the needed capital to do business? Yeah. Yes. Now, coming to you, John, um, again. Um, so you begin with the local community. Yes. Uh, folks from all manner of background, I imagine. Mm. Yes. And here you are, the initiator of the project, or you, who you'd say is the vision bearer, mm -hmm. is a priest mm -hmm. without that background yes. in uh, finance and all that. Mm -hmm. How do you then, you know, uh, manage to start now building, you know, the structure exactly. that has sustained you to today? Yeah. And where did you, you know, start in formalizing and professionalizing this? All right. So you see, uh, any business, uh, mm. if, if, if I can say, is that uh, any business starts from the idea generation. Mm. So, and secondly, uh, the idea generation must be coming to address a certain problem. Mm. You realize that as the Chica Sako was starting, there was that problem. Mm. But as the interaction moved and uh, the, the priest shared his idea and said, no, should we stop on serving in this box? Mm. There are other challenges. People have challenges to access to finance. Mm. Can we expand it? So they, uh, I said it started in 2003, and the process of uh, professionalizing it started with the registration, with the registry of cooperatives. So later on, it, it, it started expanding in the sub-counties uh, in Ruchiga, which were uh, started with Buchinda, Fomale, Kamwezi, Ramchuchu, and Kashamja. Mm. Then they put service centers. And they realized that at that point, the priest couldn't, didn't have the professional skills mm. to start running the institution. So they employed uh, the, the leadership of uh, uh, the management, technical team to run the institution. Mm. But I will probably dwell on other processes that happened because me, I joined later when it was, yeah, that is in 2012, when it was already in the progress. Mm. So in the process of professionalizing the institution, you realize that because uh, maybe before I even go into deep, you see the nature of the circle. I also had the voice on why some of the professional circles corrupt. Is that what is unique about a circle, a circle is that it is member owned. Mm. It means the members, they are the real shareholders. Much as this priest, prominent priest started it, he's not the owner. Mm. Or the member, whoever became number one to join the institution, 
really becomes the owner. Mm -hmm. And the same time, what is interesting on a circle is that the members who are the same time shareholders and owners, they are only customers of the institution at the same time. Mm -hmm. So the second one is that it is member controlled. So members sit every year on the annual general meeting to discuss on their plan for the next year. Mm -hmm. Now, that becomes an advantage to the sense that much as at the start we were interested in saving for our onward, uh, maybe save, save security of our savings, mm. but now they think at the AGM, what do we do ne next? Maybe we can start also borrowing from our own savings. Mm. And also that becomes very unique in the sense that each year as these members sit to discuss, they can say, no, my challenge is no longer for school fees. I now need a loan for agriculture. Mm. So that is about the member control. Mm. Then the, the other one is that it is used by members. So customers, a circle, even if it grows, whoever is a customer of that circle is the owner. Mm. So it is used by only members. And the most important one, and probably why some of the professional circles also collapse, is called member benefit. Mm -hmm. Now, the key pillar of the survival of any financial cooperative mm -hmm. or any circle is that if you do not maximize member satisfaction, probably they have no interest why they should stay in this cooperative. Mm -hmm. So at times, probably maybe these uh, professional circles start. They use all those situational leaders who say, let us start something. Mm. Probably they have their interests, mm. or they feel there is a problem that may be addressed in a short run. Mm. And when it is addressed, the other one loses meaning. Mm. So what you do every day, what we do in a Chica circle, is we ensure that all the services we offer, the products that we are developing, they are focused and aligned to enhancing member benefit. Thank you, John. And hold it there. Yes. I like the fact that, you know, almost every sentence he's talking about, you see the word member coming in. Yeah. And, and uh, I know for the fact that there are many people that are part of circles mm. and uh, they are not really contributing or participating mm. Mm. in the way these circles are run. Mm. Or they don't even know what's going on. Very true. And uh, I don't know what you can pick from there. Yeah. It's interesting to hear the word member. Mm. The word member is not just putting your registration fees or membership fees and putting your name there. Mm. A member goes there with two things. It's contributing resources, the time, ideas, mm. or well, now that thing should work. Mm. Number two, as he does that, he does that with a need for return for investment. Mm. If these two are happening and they're happening optimally, you have an entity that's going to survive. The same thing with the household. Mm -hmm. The same thing with the, any other, I call it an investment club. These members must have the heart and soul for what they have signed up for. Mm. Three, I want to add, members that we are talking about are considering that vehicle for a particular solution, but they're also looking at other options. You are not closing their minds. Mm -hmm. So for them to stick with you, you must earn that attention. And I think that's where we'll be going deeper to see how the Ruchiga circle has achieved that and how mm. the catalytic effect of Abi mm. pushed um, them in exactly. that direction. Mm -hmm. But I would also suggest that um, as we unpack the story of the Ruchiga um, circle, mm. to just get and jolt the minds of the fellows watching this show, mm. we want them, I uh, would want to hear from Abaho when he was taking over the, um, the entity, mm. I don't know which year I did it. Mm -hmm. What were the statistics like? Mm -hmm. And what are the statistics now? Mm -hmm. Then we start saying, ooh, if that is the journey, mm -hmm. what caused that kind of a, mob, a, a, a flow of mm -hmm. milestones? Mm -hmm. So probably, mm -hmm. uh, Charles, you could uh, uh, put uh, it to him. Without a doubt, without yeah. a doubt. And I think um, he can come in on that and then... Uh, How uh, Abby came in. Yes, and then mm -hmm. Noah will come in after mm -hmm. that. Okay. All right, now. You see, these circles, actually most of the fi my financial institutions, they, we have three constraints. I, I will focus on farmers and the, the nature of the uh, business because of being a financial cooperative, mm -hmm. how it is. I have, from my experience, I joined, anyway, I joined, I became the general manager in 2012, mm -hmm. quite some time now. Mm -hmm. So I have some experience. I hear you. And I interact with Almost the members. Almost a decade. Yeah, mm -hmm. I interact <laughs> with the members <laughs> on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. There are three constraints that hit these farmers mm. or the owners or the problems they are having mm. why they are even joining 
And they person. hit, because you see for us, a circle is the member owned. Yeah. So it will hit at the member level and at the institutional level. So there are three constraints from my finding that if you ad address them, mm. you are good to go. One of them is capital. Mm. At farmer level, and that's why we have this discussion, mm. capital, one, at the farmer level or at the SME level, they want to expand. They are very ambitious. Mm. So they have limited capital. And their question is, where do I access this capital from? Mm. Then at the same time, when it comes to the institution, yeah. our challenge becomes capital. How do we address this? Because what happens is when uh, we are in a developing country like Uganda, mm. the ambition of the population is higher than their capacity. What happens that the demand side mm is always higher than the supply side in terms of finances. Mm -hmm. So you find, for example, even if you visit a VSRA, they can save every week 100,000, but when they say requests for loans, it is 200,000. Mm -hmm. And now it becomes a paradox mm -hmm. of the readers, mm -hmm. whom do we give and whom do we don't we give? Mm -hmm. So uh, limited ac access to okay, that can spell the exactly. demise of the entire yes. thing. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So capital becomes a challenge that mm -hmm. every day, you, I, I, at the institution, me and the team, we must be strong enough to absorb the shocks of the demands that come from mm. the members, which is a challenge. It is a real constraint. Then the second one is capacity. Mm. The capacity flows at two levels. At the institutional level is your capacity in terms of the infrastructure, the structure, the strategy, and the management team and the leadership mm. to address these dynamic needs of mm. these members. Because you realize that as you open up for members to come, they come with different needs. Mm. So to be prepared to address that capacity in terms of the infrastructure to address them becomes a big challenge. And another, the last challenge, uh, constraint is cost. Mm. Now, to the farmer side, it is the cost of borrowing. Mm. Then when it comes to the institutional cost, is the cost of doing business. Mm. So those are key areas that we have focused on to address okay. in different ways. And how have we been, for example, been trying to address these challenges? Mm -hmm. Probably I will start with the, what Chelsea had, had requested. Mm -hmm. Like for me, when I was joining Ruchika Sako in 2012, I think we had not had any intervention with ABI. Mm -hmm. So we had uh, 5,212 members. Mm -hmm. that, is, that one, you look at it at outreach. You are addressing a certain challenge. Members are coming on board, and you had a certain number. Mm -hmm. But as I speak, 31st December, 2020, we closed with 21,754 wow. members. Mm. Now, the key issue now comes, why do you think that this figure is increasing mm. over around eight years? See, we had started in 2003. Mm. Up to 2012, we had only 5,200. Now, in the same period, there is a stampede of growth, if I may say. Yeah. One of the reasons is that we understood that we have to deliver demand-driven financial services. Mm. I can give an example. We have a loan, uh, we call home improvement loan, okay. where we give, uh, you see, for us, we deal with the local people. Mm. You give a loan of a mattress, a mattress of 90,000 Uganda shillings, mm. someone comes and deposits 30,000, then you have a supplier who will supply the mattress, then the 60,000 remaining, mm. you give six months for them to pay 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, and they clear their own. And such a product we are giving is interest free. And you ask yourself, is that a business? Mm -hmm. so a circle in its nature is a social economical enterprise. So, what we do in this case, you find that you have 100 requests for mattress loans. Then you go to the wholesaler mm. of mattresses and say, this mattress is 90,000. Please, can you send it to me at 85,000? And give me 150. And, yeah. Mm, so wow. then I, I take many. Mm. So they reduce. That difference of 5,000, you, you compensate. You allow the member pay their own according to the price. But the in it, there is, there is an element of yeah. business mm. for purposes of sustainability. And um, someone feels that this is a benefit. Mm. If you're not in Uchika Sako, for example, you will go and buy it at at 90,000. And if you have borrowed, there is interest. But because he's a member, he feels there's a, there's a benefit for him belonging to that. Mm. So we, we address running from people who are taking agriculture loans, business loans, but also go on, on ground to understand. I Hold it there, John, because yes. I want us to dwell more on yeah. that particular issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to bring you in, Noah, here. Because I see really the element of professionalism here. Mm -hmm. Thinking, mm -hmm. pricing your products Very right. Very innovative. Yeah. Being innovative. 
and that kind of thing. I mean, mm. um, you work with these circles, yes. uh, his and many others. Yes. Um, I mean, what lessons can we or can others, those that have not got the opportunity to actually, you know, benefit from the support, let's say, of ABI and the professionals, really pick from there? What is there to pick for the people out there? And not just circles, but all kinds of organizations, investment yes. clubs, because there are many in this yes. town. Uh, thank you. Uh, there is an interesting dynamic he brings mm. of how you manage growth. Yeah, I, I usually tell people that su being successful is not difficult. It is like being number one in class. It is very easy. <laughs> the issue is staying number one from P1 <laughs> up to P7. <laughs> yeah. Those who have uh, had an opportunity to be, who have hustled enough to be number one in class, mm. know how hard. It is to maintain it that, is. to keep up there. Yeah. Yeah. It is to be <laughs> number one, term one, term three, P one, term one, term three, P two. Mm. Mm. That's a net of 21 terms of mm. being wa the number one in seven years. It's not easy. It's madness. Mm. It's mm. not <laughs> easy. So, <laughs> uh, being number one in the class, I can equate it to getting a registration certificate of a, of a business OA circle. Yes, mm. you are now in the market. We know you exist. Now we start to bombard you with the loans requests mm. by the way we need more money than we can save mm. so that is why we form the circle mm. Eh? Mm. so the issue is do you have the money for us to borrow mm. if mm. the answer is you don't have the money then you will not come yeah. mm. so the first and most important thing is gauge your capacity huh? jb has touched it how m much money do our membership need to be comfortable to be satisfied as members of Ruchiga Sako. Now the question becomes, from your savings, what proportion of that money can you raise? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? The balance, you have to get it from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So the question is, are you networked enough? Do you know the people who are doing the wholesale lending mm -hmm. or those who have the money you need, whom you, who you can reach out to and they give you the money? Mm -hmm. And this is where we get beaten, uh, especially professionals who start circles. Let me also uh, say something brief about that. Mm. Most of us, when we get to these institutions, we are going there to earn a salary. We are not going there to, 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 to broaden our appreciation of things, <laughs> to become very important and, uh, mm -hmm. and, and very well, uh, you know, know uh, to understand very well how things move. What does that mean, therefore? I can be an expert in what I do every day when I leave home to work, but I don't know who in the market is even uh, enabling my institution, which I work for, to be able to offer the services it is offering. For example, like I said, I can be a loan officer lending money to a farmer, but when I don't know where that money came from. Mm -hmm. And that's why you need, as you step into this space and you appreciate that savings are not enough, y your next question as a manager or as a, star, as, a, as, a, as a member of the board is, which partners do we need on board? Apart from ABI, maybe who else do we need so that we can have enough money ready in time for people to borrow when they want to borrow so mm -hmm. that's uh, 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 something very obvious and and no one should assume it networks are nurtured they are like relationships there is no relationship which is for free in this world there is no relationship which exists by 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 by, by with no effort mm whether it is biological or non-biological. So there must be an effort on both parties who want to relate, to, m to go towards each other and uh, make a uh, create a relationship or a partnership that will bring in money. Mm -hmm. So we, we as, and, and which comes back to, to our thing, the issues we've been discussing, like business plans. Mm. If your plan is to give loans to 10,000 people with the loan value of at least 1 million per uh, borrower, that is a net of 1 billion. Mm. Do you have one billion savings on the table? In case they all walked in on Monday, tomorrow, mm. are mm. you able to, to give them the loans? If the mm. answer is no, then you should, d Monday before you even open, you should have a list mm. of partners, either social investors or, or, or non-social investors who you can uh, network with or partner with to get uh, uh, you know, affordable financing for your institution. I'm meaning now a financial institution, whether it is SACO or microfinance institution, any other, so that you are able to lend. 
to, to your people. Otherwise, mm. they will come, they will not get answers, their uh, satisfaction will, will go low, mm -hmm. and they will not come the next day. Very your good. business will die as soon as they all leave. Yeah. Thank you, Noah. Mm. Viewers, we are discussing a very important topic, uh, yeah. the one of access to financing. Yeah. Like I said at the beginning, we've had many of you actually raising this question uh, before yeah. us and Charles yeah. Yeah. of how beautiful some of these experiences are, yes. but where to get the capital. Very true. How to mobilize the funds. And I think now we have an idea. Because mm. none of these things, actually, from what we are hearing from the gentleman, comes by accident. Yeah. These are all deliberate, well-thought mm. strategies or activities to actually, you know, uh, achieve, you know, the well-stated and uh, structured goals. So um, we'll be picking the discussion from there. I want us to hold it here. Uh, we're going to take a very short commercial break. And then when we come back, we'll actually now delve into now the real access of financing. I know John has touched a bit of that, mm. and he has showed us, especially those that are managing circles, okay. that are leaders of investment clubs and the like, yeah. why it's important to actually be innovative uh, for the good of your members. Yeah. On that note, we'll take a very short commercial break. When we come back, we'll also be picking your you know, responses. We have our WhatsApp number online. Please send them in, and then we'll be able to respond after this break. Welcome back, viewers. Uh, we are still looking at that topic, uh, which is basically about uh, access to financing. And we're looking at serviceable financing, or you could say loans or credit. Now, um, John, um, before we went for the break, of course, you were telling us uh, how innovative you've been, you know, yes. at uh, Ruchiga Sako. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, this now adds, you know, uh, uh, gives advantages to the members, which I think is justification for people to belong mm -hmm. to, yes. to, to that circle. Uh, so moving on, um, how are you handling, of course, the issue of uh, the savings mobilization, the deposits, as well as now uh, credit, lending. as yes. we build up to the relationship you built with ABI? Mm. All right. Thank you. Probably before I go back to figures, mm. I can tell you that with cooperative, a cooperative where it is anywhere in this world, its unique pillar is called trust. Yeah. So trust is very, very key. So minus trust, a cooperative cannot survive. So one of the key issues, like I mentioned, members had grown from 2012, from 5,200 to now more than 21,000 membership. And now these ones we don't, we do, uh, like I said, we do not pull them. Mm. We create a demand, we attract them. So I said we provide demand-driven products. So because of this growth, it comes along with other factors in key for performance indicators, like saving mobilization. Mm -hmm. I can tell you in 2012, we had 562 million total savings of the other 5,200 something members. Mm -hmm. And now this has grown from 562 million to 8.3 million in December. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, this, this kind of growth of savings coming in, I said it will, it survives on trust the members have in the institution. Mm -hmm. And trust normally grows, it has a direct correlation with the service delivery that mm -hmm. you're giving to them. And the member benefit, for example, if I want a loan in time and I apply, your process is managed to make sure that I access it in time. Then, of course, the, the savings grew in alongside the loans. I can tell you we had 705 million in 2012. And as I speak, when we were closing last year, we closed with 11.4 billion. Now, this kind of growth in terms of membership, in uh, savings, in uh, share capital, the owner's equity also grew from 1.9 billion to 4.3 billion. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the real core strength mm -hmm. of the business. One of the key uh, areas, the issues was, one, we enhanced member information member education is very key mm. now member education at times we talk about financially excluded people people can be down there suffering they need financial services they can't access them the single reason being is that they don't know where to find it for example mm. so we, we focused on disseminating information and that's how abi came in in 2013 to start supporting us then we also enhanced outreach we had the uh, 
four branches in 2012. We expanded to seven branches. Because uh, uh, access to finance also can be addressed when you bring services closer <coughs> to the people. Mm. So, and the, the expansion, also ABA supported us to ensure that we expand and reach out. But the key issue is designing rightful products. Of course, you can have good products, you have an intervention of ABI, but uh, there is another key element, which you call authentic leadership, governance. Mm. You see, <coughs> where cooperatives are and other circles, you can be a strong manager, you have a committed team, you have good members. But if they appoint, because of the challenge of member ownership, mm. the circles are being owned by members, it means on AGM they choose leaders from within themselves. Yeah. So if you have grown the institution up to this level, for example, they bring board, board whose thinking is here. Mm. In their first two years is to put the institution to where the thinking is mm. and you start growing again. <laughs> <laughs> so the key <laughs> success factor that we have also survived on yeah. is that of authentic leadership, okay. both at the management level yeah. and at the board level. Mm. And how we managed to do it is that we said we cannot leave things to happen the way they are. We said at times member control is very important, but they need to be guided. Oh yeah. So what we did, we put a policy in place to put a process that members will not just come on AGM and say, this is the board that should start leading. No, we put a process that you want to become a board member of Ruchiga Sako, make an application. Mm. Then we put in place a committee to evaluate those ones who are interested in the institution. Why? It is pro more probable that if someone has been defaulting, <laughs> and he joins the board, <laughs> the, big, the big position that you will encourage everybody to default. To default. To default. So mm -hmm. there is no policy that they will put in place. Mm -hmm. And also we said, much as we are located in local areas, we need this basic knowledge for someone to really understand. Mm -hmm. If they present financial reports, if they bring a specification of a product, you understand and you are able to say, let's move on. Mm -hmm. So the key issue that has also helped us to succeed, one is that we do not employ every Tom, Dick, and Harry, mm. whether you are related to a board member or not, mm. you must be a qualified That's person. That's a powerful one, John, because uh, there's always this sense of entitlement. Yes. Some people have and uh -huh. say, you know, young man, we began this thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> <You know? laughs> sure. And uh, I can see that <laughs> now answers that quite mm. well. And mm. I know mm. that is one of the main reasons it why is. a number of these uh, mm. member, you know, uh, Mm. initiated initiatives end up collapsing. Mm. True. I hear you. Yeah. So you build a relationship with partners like ABI. Exactly. How did you go about that? Because I know the number of our viewers mm. who find that challenging. Mm. Exactly. How do you attract a, you know, a key development partners? Pattern. Yes. You see, what happens in, uh, uh, in this world of pa development partners, they would not just come and give. Uh, I, I can tell you that today, uh, I, I normally interact with the members. Uh, we were in a political se season. Mm. Whenever a member would be moving in a trading center and me me meets an aspiring MP and gives him 10,000, he will drink it all mm. and go home without anything. Yeah. But if you give him work to do, maybe to dig a certain piece of land at the same price, 10,000, at the end of the day when you give them this 10,000, mm. they will not eat it all or they will not drink it. They will either buy sorrow mm. or buy a bread or buy bread mm. when they are going home. Mm. Because they feel there was an input. Mm. So most of the time, any development partner wants a circle or any business that has already shown cap capacity that you have at least done something. Mm. Mm. You can't just start, uh, you can't start something today and tomorrow you go to ABI, we need support. Mm. It is called support. Support comes when you're already moving. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you're already doing something. So to me, I think when they are even doing an assessment, they look at what have you been doing. Mm. Then what is lacking when they are doing that assessment. So to me, I think what is key for businesses is when you have started the circle, you must have a high level of commitment. You mm. as members, first to do something. Mm. And I think they also have minimum qualification. Mm. They always tell you, you must have at least this mm. to see that you are committed. Because where there is mm. an element of uh, less commitment, people do not take responsibility. So I think how we came to, to, to look up for them, of course, we are progressing and we had a very clear vision and we knew where we are going. Mm. So what we did need, like I said, I talked about the three constraints. Mm. After identifying them, we said, 
how do we get someone to come and support us in enhancing our capital? Mm. How do we get someone to come in and enhance on our capacity as an institution? I can give an example. We had, uh, including me who was leading the, the, uh, the, the circle, I was not uh, having enough capacity to mm. run the institution than the way I have because of their intervention. Mm. I can tell you in 2015, ABI sponsored me to go to the School of African Microfinance for two weeks training. So I went there, I was also greeted. Mm. I saw new right. When I came in, I also had to reorganize the institution mm. and ensure that I'm putting in new things. So enhancing the capacity of the staff members, enhancing the capacity of the whole institution, restructuring it, supporting us with product development, strategic planning, and um, uh, training the board members. Mm. Also changed our thinking. We are able to realize that we need to understand the business we are in. We understand it from first principles and see how do we, can we be able to project the institution. So they are coming in, comes when you already have a sense of direction. Mm -hmm. Then they give you the support. But of course what they do is that they normally advertise. Mm -hmm. So when they advertise, you express interest. But you realize that at the start, even if they have advertised, you don't need to tell someone, no, hey, ABI is giving money, you go there. No. Someone <laughs> must be having an ambition inside themselves <laughs> that they are looking for someone <laughs> eh, mm. to come in to say, mm. this is the direction we are taking. We have a gap here. Would we need to have someone to come in and address? So our focus, even when I'm writing these proposals, I first identify the gap on capital, yeah. on our capacity, and costs, cost of doing business. Mm. I can give an example. They have supported us on addressing the cost of be doing business. Mm. I'm going to give, for example, mm. uh, 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 a success story about that. Mm. Now, how do you address the cost of doing business? I give an example that we give small loans. A member comes in, his problem is that he wants to, to grow cabbage mm. of 300,000. Because, you know, in Ichigazi, the land is fragmented. Yeah. There's a lot of land fragmentation. So mm. his garden is very small. So all he needs is 300,000. Mm. Now, you realize that the cost of accessing 300,000, a loan officer will go there to do assessment, him coming or to, 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 to apply, then all that process, you find that the cost of borrowing that money increases. Mm. So how do we address using technology? Now, I can give an example. A member can move from Chundura Valley in, in the, uh, one of our area of operation to come, for example, to Nyaruziva to do savings. And they spend 10,000 on a border board of 5,000. Going back, it is 5,000. And they came to save another 10,000. That's mm. all they had. Mm. So it means, <laughs> <laughs> it literally means someone had, has incurred 100% cost of wow. saving. Yeah. So they supported <laughs> us with the technology so that uh, people can be able to save using mobile money. Mm. Now you can imagine, someone will die, maybe go to an, a mobile money agent, deposit money on their phone, then they dial star 165 hash, they are able to save. Mm. That, that charge is 2,000. Mm. Mm. If you transact and money hits your account, it is 2,000. Now, they are addressing the cost of doing business. At the same time, addressing the cost of a member saving. Yeah. You can imagine reducing a cost from 10,000 Uganda shillings to 2,000. It is, to me, it is fundamental. That's mm. fundamental. And uh, um, probably if I can add on something, mm. that thing, that intervention of FBI has helped us to mobilize savings during the COVID-19. Mm. Mm. Because when there was total lockdown, I can tell you, at Ruchiga Sako, I bought treasury bills of a billion. Why? Members were able to still save. send the money. Send mm. the money. I hear and you. of course, they also, of course, COVID came with a lot of fears. Others were withdrawing, but others were also saying, with such a situation, I need to have my money saved. Mm. But they only bring it to an institution they trust. Mm. Mm. I have cases where a, an old ma woman can come to a branch and say, there is, Nolina is not here. Nolina is one of my cashiers. Mm. Nolina <laughs> is not here, and they go back. with the money? Mm. They, we still have those people who believe in excess. They mm. say, they are not serving with the institution. They say, if I don't find the JAB, <laughs> I am not <laughs> sure <laughs> <laughs> that my money That's is That's a powerful uh, one. Yeah, exactly. Mm. That my money is sure. So these are some of the issues that come in. But when members trust the institution, mm. they will always be highly committed to it. And the only source of trust, like I said, is enhancing member benefit. Very good. Yeah.
Mm. No, I, I think JB has unpacked, uh, you know, mm. uh, some mm. of the critical mm. elements that mm. you look at uh, before you come in to support. Mm. Like I said, we have quite a number of our viewers, uh, business operators, those that are planning to go into business and are wondering how do we, you know, deal with this challenge of building partnerships? Because someone might be good at what they do mm -hmm. and that's all they know. Uh, maybe dealing with external um, stakeholders, if I may borrow that word, may not be one of their strong points. Not because they are weak, but they don't know. So uh, from an educating point of view, how, uh, what do I need as a businessman to actually work with ABI? Yeah. Um, and other partners, of course. The way I can, uh, thank you, the way I can quickly illustrate it is that you should use the same attitude of freshening up and cleaning up when you're going to a party to change the trajectory of your business. Mm. When you're going to a party, you don't, see, you don't remember to tell your things, you usually tell yourself of Jagaranga Wendy. No. Mm. You go take a shower for some good time, uh, a clean up, so that you're ready to go and interact mm. with the people <coughs> who expect to meet you when you're presentable. Mm -hmm. The question is, are you ready to take on that challenge? Yeah. Sometimes we are so in love with what we do. I have the best pancakes. Mm -hmm. eh? My chicken have the, the most yellow yolk around. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Chicken, the eggs of my chicken have the most yellow yolk. Mm -hmm. um, I, I talk nicest mm -hmm. among mm -hmm. people who are in this business. Mm -hmm. But that won't make you survive. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it, you may have a product that we like, but if you cannot meet our demand, we will not come to buy from you. Because it doesn't matter. Even if you have the most uh, eggs with the most yellow yolk, if I want to feed 200 people with eggs and I need 10 trays of eggs and you have one tray, will I buy from you? No. Okay. I'll go in a place where they can give me enough eggs for the people I need to feed. What does that mean? You need to borrow money if your savings are not enough. Put in more, uh, grow your poultry business and be able to meet the demand of the buyers of eggs. Now, for you to access money, that you need to do what you usually do when you're going to a party. You know guests must be smart, smarten up your business. Guests must arrive on time, know when to go to borrow. Guests ha must uh, come with an invitation card, bring the documents of your business if they are needed with information which is factual. There are those who cook figures. Mm. And uh, when you're, 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 you're assessing them for a loan, you ask them and say, um, how much uh, revenue did you have last year? They tell you uh, 10 billion. You say, but your, 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 your audited accounts show that your revenue was 6 billion. And they're like, oh, is it? Okay, yes, yes, I think it is six billion. <laughs> uh, and, and then you're like, really? Ca can you be 10 billion rich and you don't know that you're 10 billion rich? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you're saying, uh, yeah, it is six billion, but I think I was overstating it. So, simple message to anyone who wants to access money be ready to smarten up, to clean up, to organize yourself. Just take that same attitude. Mm. Eh? You, 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 you adopt when you're going to a party. You want to present the best possible you, present the best, the best possible you to development partners, mm -hmm. to investors. It doesn't matter. Even your members need you smart. Mm -hmm. But you, you, you members, you have conquered them. You have them. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. Members are uh, like a wedded wife already, f if I may use a circle. She's in your house. Mm -hmm. huh? You're in her house. You're even having kids. She's serving. She's attending uh, annual general meetings. She's a member. But the money she brings for you to her savings is not enough and she has more demands. Mm -hmm. What do you do? That's when you start to get other people who are interested in the welfare of your family to support you. And you must be ready for them. You must be welcoming. You must have the documents they need from you. You must present them on time. You must be consistent. If ABI, for example, we require that you be reporting uh, quarterly, mm. you should be ready to report. What are you hiding? Mm. Yeah, you know, and, and reporting is one of the key issues mm. that 
that we are not uh, you know comfortable with i think but i think it is a cultural issue mm -hmm. because i also know elders whom you ca who you can't ask more than two questions Say, <laughs> <laughs> how are you saying it? Okay, how has been your day? Mm. Says, I'm fine. What would you like to eat? Says, you give me food, I eat. If you don't want, you leave. Mm. So, so, so perhaps <laughs> some of those things maybe follow us up even in our professional lives mm -hmm. or even in our business lives. And uh, you find, uh, you know, someone needs money, but saying, Ay, these people over asking. Mm. Why shouldn't they ask? <laughs> someone, when mm. you were busy eating your money, someone was busy keeping their money. You have now come to borrow it because for you, you don't have savings. Mm, yeah. And you don't want them to ask. So, so because if theirs gets lost with you, then it, their loss is theirs. Mm. They, have, they have saved it, and then you have taken it, and also it has got uh, lost with you. So we must uh, start to be uh, very real, very honest, and very disciplined so that we maximize the benefit for members but also maximize benefit for investors mm -hmm. and and <coughs> and these development partners you need they also have objectives mm -hmm. we uh, we may say uh abi may say we are giving um, a, a fund for developing a value chain mm -hmm. uh, maybe we say uh there is a right now uh, foot and mouth disease in the cattle corridor so we are availing a line of credit to financial institutions which are doing business there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yes, we already know. It means, therefore, that the loans we give are really aiming at addressing that challenge. Now, the question is, we'll ask anyone who comes to, to access such uh, you know, money is show us proof that you're at the center of the dairy farmers in that area. I get and we'll, yeah. we'll ask all questions about dairy mm -hmm. uh, to sh be sure that you understand the sector to be sure that you have the right loan products and to be sure that as an institution you are firm enough to be able to, to assess those loans, disburse them, collect them, and you know, bank and book your savings as well as returning the, the money to, to, to the lender for, for uh, to wait for another person who will need it or to wait for you to, to borrow it again when you need it. So mm. discipline, but also you know, you must be very honest and real about your situations. People like what is good about you mostly mm. than what is not good about you. So be ready mm. to be good and to be good sustainably. That's a good one. Yeah. Sustainably. Yeah. Charles, um, mm. very important issues there are coming up. Extremely important. And I want to say this, that um, there are things that we tend to take as disturbing a nuisance, disruption, diversion. Mm. And they are painful sometimes. Yeah, yeah. These fellows had to come up with processes and policies for becoming a board member. Mm. Mm. And those had to be drummed in and they had to own them up. They had to come up with processes to recruit a staff because that is key. Absolutely. They had to work and do the difficult job of looking for uh, products that will address the needs of their members. Mm. Those are difficult things. And to get there, they had to look for technology. Yes. They had to get the kind of resources to do that. Mm. ABI comes on board. Mm. And I want to tell anybody who is listening and watching this story and saying, wow, how can a village circle move from 500 million shillings and in eight years, 8.4 billion mm. and they have done it using local resources there's a lot to borrow here and that's why i want to again go back to what abby did mm. abby came in with technology abby brought in the aspects with the to do with corporate governance it would be interesting for listeners again noah for you to just underscore how you tend to bring these solutions but make them become the dna of the entity as opposed to because Abby wants us to do this before they give us a what? A line yeah. of credit. Yeah. Okay. We've had fuel stations being run in this city. You are running a fuel station in Matuga, mm. belonging to Shell, belonging to Total, Total mm. belonging to whoever. And then they tell you, for us to run that fuel station, we want you to have a minimum of what? 50 million shillings. Mm. What does the man do? He goes all over the place, borrows 50 million, puts it there, cosmetically to get the what? The license, the, the license or the contract. Mm. 
After that, he puts back the man and says, you know, these people, we know how to deal with them. Mm. So I want people to know that whatever Abi has done with Ruchiga Sako mm. must become part of your DNA. Mm -hmm. And uh, Noah, please, indicate some of the things you do when a member you are trying to change in a particular direction and acquire certain discipline. How you actually drum those things in there. And how sometimes maybe people were saying, you are such a nuisance, you disturb us. But it would be interesting to get your direct experience on that. Uh, oh yeah, thanks, uh, uh, Charles. So uh, one of we, we we start from ensuring that we are dealing with the right person. Mm. Right. Uh, and uh, like you said, someone can borrow for you know you know again. The, some of these issues are no more usual community issues. Mm. You know, mm. Visitors are coming, get a few chairs put them somewhere in the house, mm. make <laughs> them comfortable <laughs> after the event or the party, take the chairs back to the owners. Yeah. So, 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 but uh, in our case, we have a minimum criteria yeah. of things you must bring for yeah. us to start working with you. Yeah. And again, it is the normal usual things anyone else who's interested in what you're doing asks. Mm. Yeah. But somehow we never get used mm. to mm. being organized. Mm. Mm. So let me uh, mention some of them. Mm. Yeah. A registration certificate. You yeah. must be a legal business entity. Mm. Yeah. That is honestly not too much to ask. Yeah. <laughs> no. given it should be yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. If I'm a Ugandan, I should be able to show my Ndangamuntu mm. and say this is this is proof that mm. I'm a Ugandan. Secondly, we need audited accounts for at least two years. Mm. So that, you know, when uh, that's why they say, here they say, mm. when we ask for those audited accounts, which, by the way, should be uh, uh, authored by uh, 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 a, CPA. a reputable, a reputable audit, audit firm, firm mm. Mm. Uh, <coughs> we now come in into those your audit, uh, audited accounts and mm. see how you've been doing things. Mm. But for you to, to have audited accounts for at least two years, it means you must be, have been in operation for a minimum of three. Mm. Mm. So at, at the end of year one, you, 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 you do the first audit. Mm. Then at the end of, of, of year two, you do the second audit. So it means most likely you're going to be applying w in, in your third year of business. Of business. Mm. Mm. Why do we need that? We are checking authenticity. JB mm. mentioned it. Mm. Mm. Are you for mm. real? Mm. Mm. We ask for your bank statements because mm. you can again borrow money mm. by hand. Mm. So it is not reflecting anywhere in your financials, but it is in the safe of the company. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Three, we look at, we ask for your business plan. Mm. Mm. Where are you going? He also mm. mentioned it. Mm. Mm. Eh? Mm. We want to know uh, did you just form this uh, financial institution? Uh, to, to trap us because people also form organizations mm, to yeah. trap uh, uh, development uh, uh, money from development uh, partners. partners. Mm. So once we are able to check those, mm. then we look at your project mm. proposal. Mm. Why mm. then do you mm. need our support? Mm. Mm. That's when you come and say, you see, uh, we grew up to a certain point and stopped growing. Mm. Then now we come in to mm. do a fact finding. Mm. Why mm. did they stop growing? Mm. Is it management related? Is it staff related? Mm? Mm. Is it uh, policy related? Is it uh, processes related? Mm. Is it, uh, 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 you know, their business model itself? Mm. So do you actually then go as you receive an application to establish the status of the entity? Yes. You mm. do a study, a, yes. so a baseline so study. Thank you very much. We do That's what we call yes. both technical pre project pre-assessment, where we, we actually go in to see whether you exist, then we back it up with a technical due diligence. Very there is good. no aspect of what you do which we do not look at. Like Very you know good. So, so please, uh, like again I said, mm. you want to be able to partner with people who can help you mm. access yeah. finance, you must be ready mm -hmm. to yeah. smarten up and yeah. to clean up. Your and then when they start getting the solutions, do you continue yes. being on the ground to yes. periodically yeah. yes. Quarterly. Oh, yes. Quarterly. Quarterly. Yes. Quarterly. So we yes. Okay. So we do that monitoring, but the monitoring is not audit per se. Mm. Mm. You know, it, it's it, we know that uh, most of these uh, financial institutions, especially the ones which are in the tier four mm. uh, category where the circles fall, mm. are not started by business gurus. Mm. So they may have brought in place a system, mm. 
but they are not experts at using it. Or they are using some functions mm. of the system and not the others. Mm. So by us continuously interacting with the team, then we start to show them and to guide them on how best they can utilize it. Or where they lack uh, support, mm. we directly bring in uh, consultants or even technical uh, uh, assistants, or us as staff go there and, and settle in and work with them for some time or some days. And when they are up to speed, then we, we allow them to. We allow them to. to, to, to yeah. Yeah. I, I like the yeah. fact that any, um, you know, circle or uh, can actually qualify for this line of credit or for this for that kind of support yeah. mm. from ABI. Yeah. Because uh, that is provided that they meet, you know, the requisite yes. Uh, yes. parameters and requirements set yeah. in place. And yes. I think that is very, very key to yeah. a number of our viewers that are watching us. Yeah. Because we have a number of professional circles in this city. Many. You know, some are within companies, others mm. go beyond companies, mm. you know, to communities. And one of the biggest challenges actually sourcing for financing. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Maybe to uh, clarify. Yes. Mm. ABI is agri business initiative. Yeah. Mm. So much as you, your, your, your portfolio may not be entirely in agriculture, mm. but you must be have the agri business component a bit. and it's uh, it shouldn't be painful yeah. because if mm. if uh, agriculture is the backbone mm. Mm. in the rural how, how uganda is it to given. have 100 mm. borrowers yeah. where 30 or 40 percent of them are not going to and finance to agriculture think, uh, actually come to think about it yes. uh, in my experience a number of smes actually yeah. in our market yes or yeah. this economy yes yeah, yeah actually sit within the wider agribusiness. Yes, and, and, mm. and, yeah. and sometimes Zabba. people think agribusiness is the on-farm work. No. No. no, you could be processing. Yeah. You could be doing storage. Yeah. You could be uh, 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 Transport in the business of logistics. Yeah. I, I move, yes. Exactly. So we, we look at, at your value chain, mm. starting from developing of technologies. Mm. That mm. is research, all the way up to the shelf where addition, the product yeah. is consumed. So I, I as long as you're, you're, you're directly financing uh, 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 actors in the value chain mm. Mm. who are doing any of those activities within the value chain segments mm. I've mentioned, feel free to, to, to come. Mm. Uh, again, most all this information can be accessed mm. on Very our good. website, which is www.abi.co.ug. So you'll find uh, you know, sections of the website which has information about the value chains we support, how you can become a partner, what we are advertising, whether they are funding windows or mm. any other opportunities. Uh, so it's, it's uh, you know, quite uh, nicely uh, uh, populated with the information you need. Very dynamic. We update mm. it as often as possible. So please log in www.abi.co.ug mm -hmm. and, and download for yourself and read this information. Mm -hmm. And then once you contact us, we'll be able to get in touch with you and then uh, we'll, we'll give the necessary assistance. Yeah. Th thank you, Noah. There's an aspect, gentlemen, that I want us to touch mm -hmm. before we leave. The aspect of serviceable financial services. Yes. Mm. And uh, serviceable is key, like I said at the beginning. Mm. Uh, because one of the main issues, uh, really, a number of financial institutions contain at whatever level, mm. is the default rate. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, And there are many reasons that Correct. lead into that. Yes. Uh, JB, we want to hear your experience, you know, in... Correct. Uh, managing that particular aspect because mm. mm. even the big banks yes they, they they struggle with a lot of that exactly it's headache yeah exactly. uh and i know the success that leap of growth yes from to uh, from hundreds of millions to yes. billions yes. yeah i'm sure must have come in partly <laughs> through addressing that uh, yes big yeah. big elephant sure yes all right thank you so much <coughs> now when when it comes to loans Money is money. If I say money is money, it means everybody wants money. Mm. Now, one of the challenges we have when you are doing your own assessment, mm. because here there is um, a, a paradox. A member wants money. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> there and there. Yes. And me, from my experience, I normally tell people that a loan will be defaulted before application. Mm. Mm. How? Mm. Mm. Uh, maybe a member is sleeping at their home. They have had their problems. They had the challenges. They had financial challenges. Mm. And he holds a meeting with himself. Mm. He says, I need a million shillings, for example. Mm. Mm. Just hold it there, John. Uh, dear viewers, you can be part of this discussion. We're going to allow a few calls towards the end of this interaction just to pick your minds on that. Yes. Yeah. All right. So he, 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 will, he will be there, seated in his home, and he says, I have this challenge. 
at times they have challenges where they know when they invest money, they will not get any return. Mm -hmm. And they are holding a meeting with themselves to say, I have problems. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to get a loan in Hiruchika Sako, for example. Mm -hmm. Then he again asks himself, before he comes, mm -hmm. now if I get this loan of one million, yeah. I already have problems. Yeah. I have nowhere to invest it. How will I pay it? Mm -hmm. And someone makes a conclusion. Whether sh it rains or shines, me, I need money. I'm going to try all the possible we means to access this money. Mm -hmm. And that's what mm -hmm. they're saying. Mm -hmm. They will prepare mm -hmm. very well. <laughs> all the requirements you need, you go and do an assessment. Yes. And before they came to apply, they had already resolved to default to their own. Mm -hmm. Now, we have that category as well. <laughs> we have those categories. Then we have another category of people whom you give money, genuinely, and they are in agriculture. Do proper assessment, cash flow pr pr predictions are done, and you see this is a real value project. Mm -hmm. You give money. I give an example. We gave over 600 million to farmers of onions. Now, onions at times, a season comes and the demand is too high. People get money. Mm -hmm. And the others, it is mm -hmm. not favorable. So in this, like a previous season we had in a, one of our branches at the head office that finances the onion farmers around, they did very well. They applied the right for, for fertilizers, <coughs> and the product yield was very high. Mm. But we had a board across it, the board of mm. Gwanda. Then later on, COVID-19 hit in. Mm. You go to demand money. A farmer shows you a store that is full of very good onions, but there is no where market. to buy. Mm. No one to buy there. Mm. And they are there. And you reach there, according you are supposed to recover that road. Mm. But again, you also look at this farmer who is struggling. Now mm. you are in a paradox. Mm. So you have those cases of people who mm. would for it. Now, those challenges come in. And you find I can give an example. Uh, towards uh, Feb, before COVID-19, mm. our portfolio at risk was around 11, 8.3 to 12 percent. That's where it oscillates in. Mm. The, oh. the, the default Great. rate uh, default rate was about 8.3 percent yeah Gre that, that is oh. before covid mm. that is uh, portfolio at risk greater than 30 days mm. people who have not paid their loans mm. for more than a month mm. so mm. that's around 8.3 but mm. when covid came in mm. with such a factors we had cro like for us the crowd of closure of Gwanda border the border has mm. affected our farmers very much because food was seriously flowing into Gwanda. Mm. Mm. So and people would get more and they are able to pay mm. to pay their own. Mm. Now you have COVID nineteen, you have the closure of the border. Now I can tell you in uh, April, May, there June, portfolio at risk hit sixty percent. Wow. Now you get scared. Mm. Mm. Because you are under fear, everybody is under fear. The institution survives on, on, on a portfolio mm. and city is eating. You are beyond 50% almost dead. Mm. So that's how we also approached these people and said, we want to recover. Mm. But how do we recover? Mm. People have challenges. Mm. Actually, for us at Ruchika Sako, what we did, as other institutions, we are under fear that there is COVID-19. We never stopped giving loans. Mm. Mm. Why? When the president declared that this is war, we realized that if this cooperative is owned by members, we need to fight in uh, giving them savings, mm. I mean services, mm. in terms of loans mm. and savings. Mm. So we continued. Mm. Now, when they backed us at ABI with 300 million, mm. to me that was like a spark mm. of mm. normalizing. Mm. Why? Mm. You mm. see, when you are building, we, for us internally we have services, mm. but this normal talk of members mm. heals mm. the institution mm. in a sense, in one way or another. As someone applies and accesses a loan, for example, he was doing dealing in the produce mm. and things have worsened. Mm. He has bought to probably sanitizer mm. and uh, masks mm. and the business is recovering. Mm. As you give to people, others mm. also mm. get to know that the institution has continued performing. Mm. So me who has a loan, I'm supposed to, to mm. pay. Mm. So we also did a lot of interventions. Mm. But the issue is, at times you can do proper assessment. Mm. You give a loan in a normal way. Mm. But other factors come in to mm. affect the serviceability. So some the other one was a direct fraud. Yes. How do you normally deal with those fellows? Now, those ones will call to the loans. Okay. Because if, if he's a direct fraud, he has come in a wrong way and takes a loan. Mm. Within 90 days, three months, you have not paid. Mm. We will call to the loan. 
and we execute you immediately. <laughs> yeah, we do, we do the, 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 the execution. And for us, it is very easy. With yeah. the cooperatives, we use arbitration. Yeah. Mm. An arbitrator can, uh, can make an award mm. when the other one has <laughs> run away. Mm. Then you are able, of course, to look at the guarantors. These are some of the challenges that when you are reading uh, why people, SMEs and fa small, small the farmers are not accessing finance, is that you say uh, institutions want they, they want guarantors, they want correct security. Yes, yes. So at times, you realize those are some of the issues. There is an element of risk mm -hmm. at the institutional level mm. that can, in trying to protect someone, is left out. Like, for example, someone can vi be very ambitious. Mm -hmm. He's the youth, he's doing well, but he does not have correct security. But because of the other fear, you, can, you see the biggest challenge is that when you are doing an assessment, you do physical things. Mm. But the conscience and the subconscious of the human being you can't is unreachable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the right one. Noah, um, that's a very, very important um, uh, element, yes. you know, in uh, lending yeah. or, or offering financial services. Mm -hmm. The issue of managing, you know, uh, the defaults mm -hmm. or defaulters. Mm -hmm. um, from JB's submission, what do we pick for our viewers? Uh, we, we pick that... Uh, that you, you, sh you need to take time to mm -hmm. assess and understand who your borrowers are. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you look again at the issue of serviceable finance, as the topic for today is, mm -hmm. it also has a very big bearing on the interest rate. Mm -hmm. So, um, and uh, this is how you manage uh, interest rates. Mm. The right, right pricing. Yes. Mm. So as a financial institution, you also need to know if the people who I'm lending to their, their return on investment for what they use my money for yeah. is not more than 30%. Mm. It means if I lend them money at 30%, they are going to default. Yeah. Or I'll end up, even if they got optimal yield mm. and optimal profit, they will mm. still not raise enough money to mm. service my Loan. loan. Mm. So on the side of the lenders, mm. you need to understand to go deeper mm -hmm. and not focus only on the collateral of the person, mm. but also ask yourself, this thing is putting money in. Mm. Will it generate enough cash flows mm. to clear uh, the, 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 the interest that, uh, you know, this, the, for with this money they are taking mm. and also leave them with some profit mm. to be able to fuel their growth. Mm. That is important. Yeah. So, so uh, collateral is not enough. Uh, as, as, as people who offer lo loans, we must now start to get into the technical aspects of the businesses mm. for which uh, people are borrowing. And I was specifically, uh, I'm, I'm impressed by uh, the financial institutions, for example, who are heavily recruiting people with, with agriculture backgrounds mm -hmm. to work as loans officers in their own departments. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's mm -hmm. not because the, uh, of, of, of the, the, the those people are good at managing money, but it's because they want to get close to the technicalities mm -hmm. of the borrow of the businesses which mm -hmm. the borrowers are trying to finance. Mm -hmm. Secondly, mm -hmm. serviceable, the interest of the loan also, you need to mind about the cost of the money you're lending out. Mm. I've seen institutions where members sit and say, interest on our savings per year should be 30%. They're actually telling uh, Mr. JB here that you should price your loans at a rate not less than 30%. 30%. 30%. 30%. But mm. he has to add fuel for loans officers. He has mm. to add salary for loans officers. He has to add uh, 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 insurance for the loan. He has to add all those other aspects of, 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 of the loan. So at the end of the day, you find interest on loan is at 50%. And then now they start gymnastics of, of how to make interest look like it is low. 5% mm. per month. Mm. But if you, if you multiply 5% per month <laughs> by 12 exactly. months in a year, mm. that's a net of 60% on mm. the loan. If mm. I'm borrowing, borrowing uh, 1 million, it means I have to return uh, 600,000 yeah. in addition to the 1 million you gave mm. me. So mm. Mm. to avoid that, you can start to use uh, uh, you know cases where mm. you say look most of my borrowers they are return on their return on investment or the internal rates of return mm. are 30 percent it means mm. that most mm. the profit they'll make from this money cannot be, if it is one million it cannot be more than three hundred thousand mm. so we should at least price their own at at ten percent or twelve percent of fifteen so at half of their profit can stay with them to cater for business expenses and the other half can go to 
to pay a loan. But again, most importantly, you must also go for options of cheaper finance. finance. Mm. Look for development partners. If it is microfinance support center, go there. If mm. it is the Bank of Uganda under the agricultural uh, credit facility, facility, go yeah. there. Yeah. If it is the uh, ABI, mm. go on the website, read, G come to our office, call uh, the, the reachable numbers, get to know how much uh, you, can, uh, you, you can get based on, on the level you are as an institution. And then bring this money down so that your people can access it at mm. lower interest rates without making you as a financial institution, uh, you know, uh, uh, constrained in terms of managing these loans. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if, if you're getting it at 10% or 12%, even if you added your markup of five mm -hmm. to make it uh, 17 or 18, if I break, it, if I divide that uh, net of of say 18 percent to 12 months mm. you'll still be at around 1.5 per month mm. that is still that may not be too bad mm. uh, for, for for a small uh, small holder so coming back to the issue of serviceability of of of, of, of financial services or loans we must look at what constitutes the price of a loan mm. and then mm. start to see how we can cut down on the costs we incur to give out that loan very true and then we will make it more palatable and, and more comfortable for borrowers. Mm. And the more people borrow, the more money you make. Yeah, the, sure. I, I can quickly use an example of the people who complain most about business in town, mm. the yeah. Indians. Mm. I'll stock my 10 pieces of merchandise. Each piece is 1 million, but I know I bought it at 700,000, so I'm making profit of 300,000 per mm. piece. Mm. Yeah. And I say, if you don't have 1 million, you go. Mm. Mm. This gentleman will bring the same stock we bought all at 700,000, yeah. but he prices his at 800,000 mm. and sells 100 pieces, mm. making a profit of 100,000 per piece. Yeah. That's a net of 10 million I only sell to. At the yeah. end of the month, yeah. I'll have my 600,000 in my pocket mm. as profit, mm -hmm. he'll have 10 million. Who will afford rent? Yeah. Who will afford the workers? Mm. Yeah. So we must wake up and no one we we we, sh we need to 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 modernize don't only digitize the handset you hold mm. yeah. yeah don't only move from katoch to to smartphone yeah even intellectually mm. Mm. even in terms of your customer management mm. even in terms of your product design move mm. from that analog way mm. of saying our savings are enough people must pay this yeah. to, to get closer mm. know mm. your customer, customer. Mm -hmm. know what they need, mm -hmm. know the interest that they can afford, yeah. and start mm -hmm. to position and price your services mm -hmm. around what they can afford so that they, you can support their businesses to grow, but yeah. so that your money lending business, as mm -hmm. either as a financial institution or as a, uh, you know, anyone who's in this business can also mm -hmm. grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Charles, this discussion is even good for the big boys. I want to say this. Um, each time we bring this Sunday program to our viewers, the lessons stretch us beyond our comfort zones. Mm. And particularly now, before we really close this, I know we will be able to capture and summarize next week when what has really come out of here. Exactly. But I want to get the words of <laughs> our brother JB. Mm. You know, he said, it is easier to do the physicals of the assessment. Show me what you are currently doing. It takes you a garden of somebody else. Give me the audited accounts. He talks to the accountant. Give them the audited accounts. Mm. Or give me a guarantee. Bring somebody. You just sign here. You will disappear. There's no problem. Mm. But he mentioned something. He said, the conscious and the subconscious mind, what we, in other language, we call it the mindset, the attitude of the person. Mm. You will never be able to exactly read it Grasp. Mm. which is a beautiful way of putting it mm. so i don't want to miss his own in his own words what are those takeaways or things anybody wishing to establish a sustainable circle must address because at different levels in the communities in the churches at government we are all saying circles are the way to go and we have been at this game for decades now mm. You have been there. Yes. You grew a thing from half a billion to now 8.3 billion. Mm. What are those things you can summarize and say, please address the following three, four, five things if you are to succeed? All right. To me, I think uh, key, key number one, before you even start, is leadership. 
leadership leadership that is key mm. i'm telling you any circle that corrupts anywhere in the world there is a direct cause from either the chairperson board or the manager mm. you get my point mm. the board and management so if you have authentic leadership in other words how do you have it first train right for people to do the right work yeah you mm -hmm. ensure they have the right skills mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then the second one mm -hmm. you tamper with the mindset of your current and prospective customers mm. to align them with the vision of the institution mm. to me that is very very fundamental mm. at the same time so when you have members who are empowered you have given them education and you have the right to scale the stuff mm. and the governance is at par it gets back to, to, to better. But when it comes to ground, mm. this farmer, yeah. they are going to find us. I have interesting stories that I normally get with, with these farmers at the end of the day. But the key issue is the ambition. Mm. Me, I think all financial institutions, mm. they finance the ambitions of the farmers or these SME owners. Now, if someone is not very ambitious, mm. they will not be able to work. I have cases, one of successful farmers, we were interacting in the evening mm -hmm. on a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. and he was telling me that I gave you, uh, I, I don't know how I can call it, mm. like they forged, forged loan agreement. I mean, a land agreement. Mm. Oh my he God. He told me, I gave you two, you know what tell us the truth. I gave you two forged land agreement. Mm. But <laughs> you gave, me, you financed me and I've been able to expand. Now I want to give you a right for The genuine one. one. Bring <laughs> the others. <laughs> <laughs> that is you, humbling. You get my yes, point. Yes. So the key <laughs> issue here, <laughs> as we concentrate on this documentation, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> verifying, it's because he, yeah. it is not repentance. It is actually someone telling you that I have not been transformed. Mm. Yes. Oh, the yes. institution has transformed me. Mm. Much yeah. as he might have used the wrong documents mm. to access the money, mm. but he used the money very well. Mm. You yes. get my point. Yes. And he's feeling happy mm. to even tell you mm. his yeah. story. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you realize that much as, much, most of the time, mm -hmm. these key issues we focus on and we say, we need the non-title, we need this one. They may provide, but if the ambition is not there, yeah. mm. if yeah. the farmer ambition is not there, mm. he will not put into use to your money. Mm. But a very ambitious farmer will know that I have received a loan. At the end of the year, I will put in 130. Mm. I must invest in it where I will at least access, get two million mm. at the end of the year. Mm. So mm. you see, if, to me actually that's what we focus on. Yeah. When we are doing an assessment and even when I'm interacting with my team of loan officers, I tell mm. them, please focus on the ambition of this farmer or this SME. Mm. Yeah. Where do you want to see yourself mm. in the future? Why are you borrowing? Mm. So to me that is very, very fundamental. The clarity of that. Exactly, mm. the clarity of that. Mm. And at times, you know, we evaluate and we find the quarter to security is mm. 200,000. Mm. But someone is accessing 300,000. Mm. But he's doing the right thing. We say, because mm. he's very ambitious mm. and he has a history of progress mm. that has advanced mm. this money. And at times, yes. that's how so ABI comes in mm -hmm. to the risk. Mm the investment in mm. farmers. They have something they call uh, agriculture loan guarantee. Mm. So they also de risk. They are those ones who are good, very ambitious, but they can never have collateral security. Mm. So they also come in. And when they also give us that support, it, we it increases the, the appetite mm. To, mm. To, 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 to support the more farmers. Thank you, JB. Mm. That's yeah. a very, very interesting. Uh, mm. Really very, very, very pertinent because yeah. I know mm. how many people out there yeah have had good intentions to pro start uh, circles mm -hmm. and the circles have not lasted and they have not delivered the benefits that the members wanted to get. Indeed. So I really feel this evening's discussions are such a beautiful, beautiful takeaway for many of us who are into the uh, circle space. Very good. And I must say, we <laughs> weren't able to pick your calls because of some technical issues. But I believe, I mean, looking at the delivery we have here, we can mm. actually start our discussion next Sunday with on the issues correct, you that know, arising from this very, correct, very important discussion. Correct, correct. Charles, um, how do you want to wind up this? I want to say that uh, this evening we have touched a very, very central area that almost everybody thinks when you want to get people to go into business, they will ask you, have you given people capital? Mm. But what we have just listened to here is a story of people with a very small land holdings, mm. a remote part of the country, and they have been able to build a cash base of their own deposits from half a billion mm. 
to 8.3 billion. Mm. But that story has had one very clear element about it, the sweat of the members. Yeah. They have paid mm. every price to build that entity from where it is to where it is now. And it is sustainability is really bedrocked mm. on that element of having members committed to pay the price, committed to do the right thing, mm. and then partnering with entities that say, please, Abi, you have, you have got procedures for us to access your resources. We are willing to obey those procedures. And we will also accommodate your monitoring and your evaluations as we do what we are doing. So it is such a very, very important learning for the country. There are so many billions that are being directed into this area, and we are losing a lot of money. And we are losing this money not because individuals were deliberately willing to take these resources or support and just waste it. They didn't know what it takes to get a circle started and make it grow and become a rightful partner for many other entities. Thank you, Charles. Noah, your last word, briefly. Uh, thank you, um, uh, Charles. Uh, for me, my parting shot would be that uh, there is money out there. Mm you can access, that's one. But to access it, you need uh, two critical things. One, you need to smarten up or clean up mm -hmm. your operation. Mm -hmm. um, your operations as a business entity, whether you are a lender or whether you are an SME who wants to borrow. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by cleaning up or smartening? Smartening, we've discussed it in the, in the previous shows of making sure your internal controls are good. Mm -hmm. You have those business plans. You have policies which guide how you lend, how you collect money from those who default. You have uh, all the, you're, you're following all the statutory obligations. Secondly, you must network. Mm -hmm. Go look out for partnerships. Development partners are advertising in newspapers, on websites. Get the culture, uh, instill in the culture of your, of, um, in you and your staff of reading to know following up to see who is doing what so that you can you know also be part of of, of the game changers you can network mm -hmm. with the people you need to grow both on the money side but also on the knowledge side thank you noah yeah. thank you jb it's been a pleasure to hear your story quite um, refreshing and uh, encouraging yeah. and i'm sure many people are encouraged out there mm -hmm. i'm seeing quite a number of responses but i think charles because of the importance of this discussion yeah I thought we can have uh, all these issues forwarded to us really unpacked in our next session. Um, thank you, Charles, again, uh, for being part of the show. I've been your host, Charles Boji. Have a good evening and God bless.